Let the ah. present both. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. It's time now for Falcon TV News, with your anchors and the entire FTV News team. Good morning, Oakhurst, and welcome to Falcon TV. Well, we're your source of news from around the world, Maze Landing, and even Oakhurst. I'm Gafela. I'm Matthew. And welcome, welcome to, to Falcon, Falcon TV. TV News. Today is February 13th. It's a Monday. The creative writing class are collecting submissions for the 2016-2017 issue of Styles, Oakhurst's art literature magazine. Students may submit poetry, prose, short stories, essays, artwork, photographs, comics, and anything else they can create. There is no minimum or maximum length in the writing submission. Students may submit as, as many items as they, can, as they want. Teachers are welcome to submit on the behalf of their students. Attention all math club members, the Pi Day meetings today after school are room 325. You must be at the meeting if you want to participate in Pi Day. Good morning and happy Black History Month. Today's quote of the day, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. And that's from gold medalist Jesse Owens. In the 1968 Olympic Black Power Salute was a political demonstration conducted by African American athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos at the 1968 Summer Olympics in Mexico City. After having won a gold medal and bronze medals, respectively, in the 200-meter dash, they turn on the podium to face their flag and hear to the American National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Each athlete raised a black glove fist and kept them raised until the anthem had finished. In addition, Smith, Carlos, and Australian silver medalist Peter Norman all wore human rights badges on their jackets. In his autobiography, Silent Gesture, Smith stated that the gesture was just not a black power movement, but a salute to human rights. The event is regarded as the most overtly political statements in the history of modern Olympic Games. If you plan on playing baseball this spring, you must attend the sign-up meeting in room 102 with Mr. Olsen this Wednesday. Spirit Week all week. Today is Match Monday and tomorrow is Valentine's Day apparel. And remember, pep rally on Thursday and no school Monday or Friday. We just made the day. That's all for today, guys. I'm Kapila. I'm Matthew. And for everyone else in the Falcon TV crew, have a great day.